grand on that. 30, 50 grand on 50. that. Yeah. So what do you, you got? What's the total total? All together? Yeah. If we're looking at 80,000 for this. Yep. We've got 1.2 million dollars. <laughs> It shatters like glass, but costs more than gold. Why would anyone risk everything for a gemstone this delicate? Buried in layers of volcanic ash and silicate-rich clay lies a secret that has captivated humans for centuries. A gemstone that dances with fire, glows with life, and flashes with every color of the rainbow. But one wrong move, and it breaks. This is the paradox of opal. It looks like it was sculpted by light itself, pure, raw, celestial beauty. But unlike diamond or sapphire, it doesn't promise durability. It doesn't offer strength. What it offers instead is magic. But how did such a fragile gem rise to become one of the most desired and expensive stones in the world? And more importantly, what makes it so easy to break and yet so impossible to ignore? Let's uncover the truth. Opal isn't like other gemstones. While most are forged under unimaginable heat and pressure, crystallizing into perfect atomic lattices, opal is softer, more chaotic. It forms at lower temperatures, through water, not fire, specifically silica-rich water that slowly seeps into cracks in the earth. Over time, the water evaporates and what's left behind is a gel-like structure of silica spheres. These spheres aren't tightly bonded like those of quartz or topaz. Instead, they loosely align in microscopic layers. That's what gives opal its trademark play of color, the brilliant flashes of green, red, violet, and blue. But it's also what makes opal fragile. In essence, opal is made of billions of tiny spheres stacked like marbles. And if the conditions aren't perfect, or if stress is applied, those marbles shift and the whole structure collapses. This isn't a flaw, it's the very nature of opal. Beauty at the edge of destruction. Here's something most people don't know. Up to 21% of an opal's mass is water. That's right, water is not just part of how opal forms, it's part of what it is. This is why opals can craze, a term for the fine cracks that appear on the surface when they dry out too quickly. Imagine a piece of wood that warps when dried. Opal does something similar, but instead of bending, it fractures. Sudden changes in temperature, humidity, or even intense lighting can cause opals to expand or contract unpredictably. And once those micro-fractures begin, they're nearly impossible to stop. Collectors know this. Jewelers know this. And yet, they still buy opals. Why? because there's no other gemstone like it on Earth. Let's talk about play of color, that supernatural dance of light that only opals display. Unlike other gemstones which refract light based on crystal structure, opal diffracts it. The precise size and arrangement of those microscopic silica spheres causes light to break into colors like a prism, but more alive, more fluid. The result? An ever-shifting internal fire that moves when you move. Reds morph into blues, greens blaze into gold. Every opal is like a living painting, one that constantly rewrites itself. And it's not just beautiful, it's rare. Only a small percentage of opals, called precious opals, display this phenomenon. And within those, the most vibrant and stable are even scarcer. This optical effect is what fuels the price tag. It's what makes people pay thousands, even tens of thousands, for a stone that might break with a single drop. So why does a stone that's so vulnerable still demand such a high price? Because opals are not just rare, they're uniquely rare. Think about diamonds. They're abundant, mined by the ton. But opals, truly gem-quality opals, with strong, vibrant color and structural integrity, are vanishingly rare. Australia supplies over 90% of the world's opals, and even there, only specific pockets, like Lightning Ridge or Cooper Pedy, produce stones of exceptional quality. Mining them is difficult, time-consuming, and risky. And even when they're found, not all opals survive the cutting process. That's right. 
Opal cutters lose a significant portion of material to cracking. Sometimes, the most visually promising piece will split halfway through shaping. It's like sculpting glass with your fingers. Each carrot that reaches the market is a survivor. That survival against odds, against nature, against time, is part of what gives it value. You're not just buying a gem, you're buying a miracle that didn't shatter. Despite the fragility, opals continue to dominate high-end markets. Collectors in Japan, the US, and Europe often bid aggressively on rare black opals, bolder opals, and harlequin pattern stones. Ethiopia, a rising star in the opal world, has introduced new varieties, but with them, new risks. Many Ethiopian opals are hydrophane, meaning they absorb water and can temporarily become transparent or permanently altered if mishandled. Celebrities wear opals on red carpets. Luxury designers use them as centerpieces. Even royal collections house opals that are centuries old. And each time is the same story. They know the risk. They know the stone might crack. And still, they want it. Because opal isn't about perfection. It's about light, fragility, and awe. We're about to explore the legendary opals, the rarest, the most expensive, and the ones that rewrote gemstone history. We'll also uncover the surprising technology that might make opals even rarer in the future. But most importantly, we'll reveal why this stone, born of water and dust, became the soul of fire itself. You now understand the fragility. You've seen the science. But now it's time to step into the stories, into the mines, the auction houses, and the moments where a single opal turned the world upside down. Because some opals don't just shimmer, they defy belief. Unlike diamonds, opals can't be secured tightly in prongs. Jewelers often use bezel settings or custom cushions that reduce stress. Even cleaning an opal requires care. No harsh chemicals, no ultrasonic machines, just gentle claws and warm water. And yet they sell because no other gem glows like this. If you're wondering which opal is the rarest and the most valuable, there's one answer. Black opal, not truly black, but a deep dark body tone that makes the rainbow colors ignite like neon on velvet. They're almost exclusively found in one place, Lightning Ridge, Australia. This mining town has produced some of the world's most legendary opals, stones that fetch hundreds of thousands, sometimes over a million, because of their intensity, pattern, and size. One such gem? The Aurora Australis, discovered in 1938. Weighing 180 carats, it showed red, green, and blue in perfect harmony. It's estimated to be worth over $1 million. And yes, one crack, and that million could become a memory. That's the game with opals. High risk, high beauty, high reward. Australia may dominate the market, but Ethiopia is rewriting the narrative. In Wolo province, opal deposits discovered in the 2000s introduced the world to hydrophane opals, gems that can absorb water, change color, and even become transparent when wet. It's both fascinating and terrifying for collectors. Leave one out in the rain, and it might look different forever. And yet the colors, unreal, electric purples, ghostly reds, milky golden flashes that seem to come from another world. Then there's Mexico, home to fire opal, a translucent to transparent opal that blazes with orange, yellow, and red. Sometimes it has play of color, sometimes it doesn't. But the name doesn't lie, it burns like flame in the palm of your hand. These global sources are pushing opal into the spotlight like never before, but they've also made the market more complex because no two opals are ever the same. Here's the truth most dealers won't say. Top quality natural opals are disappearing. Climate change is drying out key regions. Mining costs are rising. Demand is exploding in China, India, and the Middle East, driving prices even higher. The supply isn't keeping up. Soon owning a vibrant, natural black opal 
might be like owning a Picasso, rare, irreplaceable, and treasured across generations. Even now, some stones that once sold for $2,000 are fetching $10,000 or more. So if you're lucky enough to hold one, hold it gently, store it carefully, respect what it is, a gemstone that was never meant to last forever, but dazzles because of that very fact. So why are opals so fragile yet so expensive? Because beauty doesn't need to be strong. Because value isn't about hardness, it's about wonder. And because opals, in all their delicate brilliance, remind us of something deeply human, that the most powerful things are often the ones that can break.